Okay, so this showed up today. This is a five inch pony vice, model number 29050. Purchased from Amazon for about, I believe, $89, $79, something like that. My initial thoughts on it were, it's, it seems like it's better than the fucking shitty uh, Harbor Freight it uh, wants to look like an Irwin, but it's, I mean, Irwins aren't great either, but the Harbor Freight, the quality of it was terrible. I've been running with that for like the last year or two, and it was the model where you can flip it over and you have the uh, pipe jaws, like right, the pipe clamping jaws right there on the underside. And yeah, I mean, I was started having issues with that one right out the gate. Ironically, you're we're about to find out that I'm having issues with this one right out the gate, but I think this one may be able to get fixed actually and not to be fucking returned. But uh that Harbor Freight one I wound up I couldn't get get it the sorry, I'm losing my train of thought for a second. It would want to rotate even when it was as tight as it could get. So I wound up trying to drill a hole, tap another bolt in there to lock it to where it would stay with whichever jaw you took or chose to use in the upright position. And at the time, which I can show it to you, it's over here. It was this one right here. And you can see that first, there used to be a knob like this right here that was right there and the jaw would just want to move around no matter what. And so I drilled a hole right there in it and I was going to try and I, tap, I tried to tap it and add another bolt or do something to better secure the wiggle in it. And what wound up happening is that the I found out the cast iron was just fucking of terrible quality, which you could also see because what retired this later is how it fucking cracked off the non-moving jaw on Titan it one day. Granted, that was like a year and a half later, but even when I was trying to tap that hole right there, it the you couldn't even thread, you couldn't even get threads to do, just the cast iron would just crumble and fall apart. You couldn't even get threads to form it. It was just awful. So I wound up plugging it up with some fucking, I don't think that's JB, it may be JB Weld brand, but it's, their quote unquote the metal version of it I don't know it's more of like a kind of clay you gotta squish in between your fingers until it gets to a certain state and put it in there I mean I made it work for a while but it was still just a piece of junk from out of the fucking gate so either way so that one's done so now we're over here with this pony thing from Amazon this one the cast iron I haven't drilled into it yet but it seems to be of a better quality than that Harbor Freight one. Although it's still made in fuck town right there, as you can see, but the problem I already encountered, I mean, and lockup's a lot better between the jaws. That one, the jaws were all fucking crooked and everything. It was just shit. But the problem I'm having with this one is, well, I'm going to install it. When I lock it down all the way, or my knob's right here. When I lock it down all the way from the swivel base, I'm still getting a little bit of ability to swivel and it's almost like it's hinging from the swivel base lock but I think it's really swiveling from this because you can see when it's as tight as it's not as tight as it is but it came and you can see the gap right there and there was a little bit of a gap right there when it came and it was as tight as it could get so I'm gonna try and correct that because I'd get fucking sick and tired of buying shit and having to send it back and deal with having to get money put back on my card or get a replacement. I, I, I just want to live in a world where I can fucking purchase something, have it show up, be what it is supposed to be and function like it's supposed to function. Like that, nothing pisses me off more than that, but that I can't fucking find that ever, which goddamn, maybe I should stop shopping on Amazon, but you know what, I'm fucking broke and a lot of times I'm in a hurry to get shit and so I really don't have, you know, I gotta cut fucking corners when I can. And so the point of this video is I think I've figured a way 
to fix this. So if anybody else winds up getting one of these, if I can fix it with the way I'm thinking, maybe, you know, this will help somebody else out that gets it so they don't have to return it and they can actually, you know, just fix it the way I do, make it worthwhile keeping. So we'll get to it. So to fucking taking it apart, I mean, I've already removed the handle right there with the, the locks the swivel base in place. And then you pull this fucking screw out. And honestly, I'm not a fan of swivel bases on fucking, whether it be milling vices, bench vices. If this were set up to where I could just remove the swivel base and lock it down to the bench without. Which maybe, I mean, yeah, I guess technically I could just, if I wanted to drill a hole through right there and then lose the swivel option, that's not a terrible idea. Hmm. I'm going to fucking, uh, I'll try and see if this fixes it first, I guess, but I almost like that idea better because I don't like fucking swivel bases. I think they're a fucking, they're a weak component to add to these things like you, who no one ever swivels a vice I feel like I just I don't see it very often and you can see there's that little fucking danky ass is that even a spring washer or is that just crushed and all bent up yeah it's not even a spring washer it's just it's just been fucking beat up so it looks like it was a spring washer it's kind of but So my idea is that I was just gonna fucking throw another washer on this to try and seal that gap up and see what that did. Like so. But man, now I'm really wanting to just fucking drill a hole right there and lose the whole swivel base. So I'll fucking, I'll try and put this washer on there and see if that fixes it just so maybe if it works, y'all have a solution for it, but I'm probably gonna wind up just drilling that and mounting the vise directly to the bench because I I didn't even think about that until I took that off just now. But yeah, so we'll, we'll find out what happens here in a minute. Okay, so I've got the washer in there and uh, I'll just save y'all the time, let you know that this bolt right here is a 13th, 16th, it was the size wrench you need for it. But I got the washer in there and uh, I mean, I, th I think this is actually gonna fix that problem. I actually tightened it all the way, but you can see that, yeah, it's way more snug than it was. That's definitely gonna fix the problem, I bet. So, okay, I'm gonna finish tightening this up. We'll throw it over and see how it winds up turning out. Okay, so the vice is now bolted back down and I was correct. And that washer did fix it. So for a better explanation of the problem that I was having was when I first bolted it down, I had tightened this all the way down and I was still getting some play in the vise. When I would go to move on it like this, it would almost kind of, it wasn't even completely on the rotation of the center bolt, but it would still move in and out. Like, like I said, like the center point was based on this bolt hole right there. But now you can see that I got no movement there. The only thing that's, if I loosen this up, you can see the play that there is right there, but that's not what was bothering me. What was bothering me was the play between the vise and the swivel base. And so adding that washer did correct that. Now, be aware that while this does fix it, I have a feeling it's probably gonna cause you to lose your mobility of the swivel base, which like I said previously, I don't like swivel bases. I didn't even really want a swivel base on it. So I'm fine with I got this as tight as you can get. I got that underbolt as tight as you can get on that washer so it doesn't move. If you're wanting to, to still be able to use the swivel base, maybe just don't torque down as tight as it can get after adding the washer or maybe add a washer that's not quite as thick as the one I used, even though I don't think I used a super thick one on it. But, I mean, now I'm happy with it. We'll actually get to using it for some shit, but now it actually seems pretty sound. So 
I don't know, maybe this will help somebody out there. Like I said, this is for the fucking pony brand, the whatever they sell on Amazon. I wish it had, I don't like the whole three bolt hole thing either. I like them when they have four, but anyways, I think you get the picture. Maybe this helps somebody out. Take it easy.